guys, I'm Lilac the Dragon Girl, and welcome to this Let's Play of Freedom Planet. If you love this video and want to see more, subscribe to Scatlink Sean or my own YouTube channel in the links below. You know you want to. Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here, we're off for more Freedom Planet. In the last episode, we had our second finale of the Let's Play, finishing off Carol's story. I'm on the wrong file, there we go. <laughs> I thought I already had it on file 6 when I exited out of the menu. Yes, we finished Carol's story, where we struggled on Brevin Phase 2 and a little bit on Phase 3, but I just needed to get the timing down for certain stuff, and I barely dodged the final attacks, so I had no health on the final phase of the, of the winning run, but there you go. Shouldn't have taken so much damage. I don't know why I couldn't play as Carol. It's just a thing, and due to the nature of this game, I can't copy files. Uh, but yeah, that means we've done two characters now. We've done Lilac and Carol. Now we've got the third character. Mila. Now, the thing is, like I've said before, Mila, I don't think is built for this game in how it functions, like how they expect you to play it with like Carol and Lilac. Obviously Lilac's more uh, more the speedy type, she can use, she can like use the dragon boost to get some, some height, but it's quite limited in where you can use it because sometimes you have to like bounce off walls or you can only you can't go straight up, you can only go, go diagonal. While Carol can go straight up if there is a wall in the way. That's kind of the thing as well. But the thing is they both have the maximum of seven petals and a full energy bar. Uh, or special bar. The only difference is that Carol doesn't have to use all of it, but only about a f an eighth or about a sixth of it or something in order to use her special ability to make her invincible and do tons of damage, while Lilac's Dragon Boost uses the whole entire bar and it must be full in order to use it. So they both have their pros and cons. I guess I'll just play as Lilac more than I thought that I could play well as Carol. Apparently it worked the other way around. I guess I just know Lilac's mechanics more than Carol, even though I prefer playing as Carol in some, in some instances. Mila is excellent for exploration as we'll get into her moveset in a bit, but like I said, she's not exactly built for the game. Not only that, but we're actually going to be starting on a new level. So we're, once again, we're going to have, I think this is actually the last new level of the game and the rest of repeats. So, yeah, not a lot of diversity in terms of the uh, story, but in this case, we know for a fact that Lilac and Carol start on Dragon Valley to rescue Tork. Mila doesn't appear into Relic, into the, even near the end of Relic Maze, so she's going to have a different first level. So let's just hop in and see how it plays out. Yep, we just dropped right on in. Boing. <laughs> yeah, we just dropped right on in. That's it. Brevin crashes, we're here. <laughs> it's like we just chose classic. Nope, we chose adventure. So there's not actually any uh, introduction to Mila. You just drop right on in. And immediately you can see a massive difference with our HUD. So, yeah, we only have four petals at max instead of the usual seven. So that means uh, Mila starts with less energy than everybody. However, she doesn't even have an energy bar. It's just there to fill up the fill up the space. So that's a bit different as well. So let's get into the controls. Um, in terms of A, B, and C, I believe um, on a PlayStation controller, X is B in this case. So if you hold the button, you spawn a block. You can chuck it, and it will do damage accordingly. You can jump in order to do that as well. So that's pretty sweet. So obviously, jump is A, which in this case is circle in terms of my uh, PlayStation setup. So that's kind of a thing. Um, C is obviously our special, which is square in this case. And in this case, we can hold the button and we have a protective shield, which we can hold in all directions other than directly up and directly below. So that's kind of a thing. If we if we jump, can we uh, use it directly below? Nope. Yeah, so we can not We can only hold it in six directions. But regardless, it does protect you in a 
70 degree angle, I guess. If you're holding it diagonal down, it protects just in front of your bottom below, as well as just the bottom half of in front of you and stuff like that. So you can see the arc. It pretty much covers all bases with these three. So that's pretty cool. So Mila has psychic abilities, as we already know. And when you let go of your shield, you do like a small ranged attack, which does little damage. You can't spam it very well. And uh, when you're trying to like jump and do this and stuff and like try to pick up a box, chuck it and then try to charge again, doesn't exactly work all the time. However, there's a special thing that you can do. If you are standing still, or well, if you're just like in general, just moving around and stuff, if you hold B, you have the block. Now, instead of chucking it, hold the C button. You have a much more bigger, more powerful shield. This doesn't really do anything different to your original shield, but what is different is the shot that you shoot. I'm going to face the other way for this. You get a massive beam. You get a massive beam that does so much damage. And not only that, but you can use it for momentum as you just saw there. I can launch myself and it has decent range and decent power. So you can use that to gain some certain speed. Now, like I said, I'm not the best with Mila, so that's kind of a thing. Speaking of which, I want to say I'm not the best crouching down and just knowing what I've got to do. Notice that when we crouch, our B is now dig. However, the problem is I am mashing it and I'm not digging. That's because you've got to be in certain positions for that, which we will obviously get into. Finally, if we jump and then hold the jump button again, we have a flutter jump. And it, unlike Yoshi, where it's more uh, horizontal, this is more vertical. And she looks bloody cute while doing it. Of course, she so showcased that during the uh, actual playthrough, but she her maximum speed is pretty much the same as everyone else's. This is pretty much her main speed. So she can reach her max speed quicker than Carol in terms of just reaching her top speed without any visual aids. But at the same time, you can't reach that speed very, like immediately, like with Glylock and Carol, because you don't have a pounce. So, yes, as it's a new level, we've got new cards to grab, so let's get on with that right now. So, yeah, here we can actually dig, because it is, it is diggable. And the problem is, I am mashing B while pre pressing down, but I'm not digging that much. I don't think she said something if she can't find anything. Oh, I found something! Never mind. There we go. Let's try here. Oh, she whines when she doesn't have anything. Yeah, she's a basset hound. She's a dog, so she's going to do that. Let's just freaking Super Mario Brothers Super Show her way through there. <laughs> I really... I always remember that like, one scene of where Luigi's just coming out of the pipe. Falling into the Mushroom Kingdom, taking out all the Koopas in the original intro of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Super Show? What am I? Her um, what's his name? I can't remember his name from South Park. God damn. The one that goes Harrow Magarian in uh, oh, City Walk Guy, or whatever his name is. Mr. Walk. Mr. Walk, that's the guy. Hey, it's a City Walk, take order, please. By the way, like I said, after we've done with this uh, Let's Play, we're immediately jumping into. Huh, get it? Emilia Diddly? I'm funny. We're going to immediately get into um, South Park and Fracture Bar Hole after this. And even though this hasn't got anything to do with Mina, I guess I could talk about it here because we're already done with like Lilac stuff. But I was recently um, tipped off by my dear old friend, Connor Meza, who um, pointed me toward an indie game called Indie Pogo, which is basically a Super Smash Bros. clone, but the gimmick is that everyone is constantly jumping. And guess who's in it? Lilac's in it. So go check that if you out if you want to. Uh, sadly, there is no demo for me to use or have access to, so it's, o it's only access for Patreons only. And I think the demo's already been rolled out, so unless I... Unless I go for the Patreon, I could do it. So I could do it for a bonus episode for this, just because, you know, it's related. And it just gives this game even more exposure than needed, especially now with a sequel in the works. And th that makes me really happy, because that means Carol and Lilac have split off into two different games to get their name out there. And that is crazy. I mean, I know that means, obviously, other indie games have got... But I believe they already have, like, sequels and stuff, like Bitrunner or something. Like that guy from Bitrunner. Uh, Mr. Video Game, I think it's called, so... Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And of course, we've got underwater sections here, but I've got a bubble, so it's fine. I don't exactly know where I'm going in this level, to be fair. I, lo I do like the music in this level. It's very tranquil, very quaint. I kind of like the beat to it as well. I'm just trying to figure out where I've got to go here. I don't go up that way. I feel like I'm lost. I always get lost in this level. I don't know why. I mean, it is the first level with Mila, so it's like... Yeah, it's quite wide in order to get your um, bearings and stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. So let's, uh, I keep going back this way. Why is the camera keep, why is there a spring that puts me out that way? I guess I've got to go the other way. See, this is what I'm saying. I, I don't know where I'm going here. 
And of course, we have no idea why Mila is even back here. It seems like it's leading me this way, but I can't see anywhere. See? Without any aids at all. Oh, I go up this way. Okay. But as you saw there, running down a slope actually allowed me to gain more speed in order to move. I was supposed to go this way. Oh, I'm a moron. i got to come over here. Ugh. I'm, I'm an idiot. Right, so, as you can see, Mila's not really built for combat, because she can only attack once at a time, unless you, like, run with a block, but then you can't reach your max speed, because you're not on all four legs. But you do have, like, a bigger beam, or you can just, like, you know, chuck your thing like that. So you can still, like, have some options, but she has hardly any options. Like, combat isn't really her biggest uh, strength. It's actually one of her greatest weaknesses, because she can't really, like, you know, fight bosses that well, because she doesn't have much damage output. The whole point is to bait your enemy out, I am holding down on the control pad, you stupid game. And I keep moving for some reason. So there's nothing there. After all that. I don't know why, but this control pad's a little bit janky when I hold it hold down for some for a long while. I guess I could use the analog stick, but when it comes to 2D games, especially when they're sprite based, I prefer using um the control pad. I'm looking at you, Metroid Samus Returns, but then again it also makes sense. Oh, I think I do want to go this way. Well, I just lost my shield. But check this out. Boom. This is how you get the most damage off. And the bosses, and as well as the enemies in this level, are really easy. So you can get used to Mila. But it's the problem is, it's the only easy level with Mila. Which kind of annoys me. Because remember like, the likes of bosses like Prince Dale and everything like that? Yeah, we've got to deal with that with Mila. And that's going to be really annoying. Because he's got multiple targets and we only have that to spam that to chuck, or if we can do it to hit multiple targets, we've got to do that, and even, th even then, if we're jumping toward it, it pushes us back, as you saw there. So, yeah. By the way, killing that thing, press the switch so we can go down here. I guess I'm just talking about Mila's mechanics in general in this level, because you got this is the level to adjust to them, and you got to adjust to them in this level, because if you don't, you're pretty much screwed. Got lots of chance for bubbles here, that don't matter. I feel like I'm going to go back on myself here, actually. I feel like I'm missing something, so let's get back up here. I think if you tap, you can, you, no, tapping doesn't extend it, it just shortens it. Because you're not continuing up with the momentum. Would you stop bouncing me in that direction? I'm not trying to touch the damn thing. I'm trying to go, oh my god, I'm trying to go over it. And just taking any hits at all with Mila is like the worst thing. So that was pointless going up that way. No, dick. Luckily, her beam does decent damage even if you spam it, but when it comes to bosses, ugh, I think I just like to go with a block. I like how when I groaned, I had something in my throat. Dick. <laughs> it's not even a dick, I just wanted to do that. So as you can see, I'm taking my time exploring, considering that this is the only time we're going to see this level in the story mode. I think this is going to lead me to something. It'll lead me to those. Oh god. Alright, let's do that again. Wait, is this actually supposed to be taking me up here? I feel like I'm progressing forward and I don't want to do that at the moment. I know, you expect me to blast through the levels, but in this particular level, I don't want to. Right, let's just run. Yep. That looked a little janky, but she actually kept her momentum on the wall, so I can't be complaining too much. It's weird, really. Those gelatin blocks actually look like what Mila can use. Maybe Mila placed them around the place for easier navigation? Okay, now this is teaching us something. Use blocks to activate stuff. There was actually a switch right in the mouth. You don't have to shoot it in the mouth, it's just there to let you know. So, yeah, you can use switch... Oh god. I can't get back up there now, can I? Damn it, I think I missed something. I think I'm at the boss as well, by the way. Oh no, we're at the mini boss. Oh, poop! Right, I know what I've got to do. Knock his thing into his gob, and if you just stand over here, you should be fine. Unless he does that, but of course, if you're getting your block ready, you might as well just get the shot ready. Block his shots first, then fire. Three shots, and he's out. Yeah, that's what you get when you are. Eat your own light bulb. Okay, we're cool. <laughs> I can go back up there if I want to, which causes some weird clipping with the layers. Oh, I see a card, and I want that. Can I have that, please? Uh, just pressing that, change, oh yeah, it changes the pipe, there we go, grab all that, get that shield, that's a wood shield, so now I want to head down this way, I can't dig here, I want to go under the water, ah, do I go down this way, ah, no, 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 I hit this button, here we go, 
Oh, actually, no, you don't want to go up there first. I don't know now. I mean, it's, the sign is pointing me to go this way, but I think it's just pointing me toward the, uh, to clue me in on how to get the card, which seems to be its only purpose. And for some reason, that's changed back up there now. Oh, I guess the switch changes both of them. That's fine, then. Got a one up there. That's helpful. Got a bit of health there as well. So yeah, this level's quite expansive, like what most other levels are, but this level kind of obviously plays to Mila's strength, because it's built solely for Mila. So, let's come back around this way. What's down here? Oh, sp springs. That looked weird. Because you can stick to any surface. I'm going to press this button. We go up here. And I can't go up that way. That's annoying. Oh wait, am I supposed to actually... I am supposed to take the uh, water to go around. Okay. I thought I could just, you know, hit the switch and just do it that way. No, I have to go around. But I guess it expects you to just do this. Oh, well, it leads you to the card anyway. Alright, then. No, ignore me about that card. You're actually supposed to do that, so the card is pretty much just a free giveaway, as long as you don't actually avoid picking it up. Ha! <laughs> Who needs those blocks? Oh, boy. Okay, there's nothing hidden there. Just wanted to know. Next le next error. I was about to say next level, that ain't right. Boop. Obviously we have to do that because it will block us in. Oh, I want those. If gems are easy for the taking, I'm going to go for them. Because as we already know, I'm going to need all the lives if I can get. Because if I'm going to die a lot as Carol, I'm definitely going to die more with Mila. There was no question. You saw the spike. Lilac and Carol pretty much the same in my old files where Mila was hugely at 100. Like, pretty much borderline 100 deaths. While Lilac and Carol were just under the 70 mark. Wait, how do I get that? Is there a... Ah! Ah ha 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 ha! That's how you get that! Alright, this entire part of the wall is not solid. I was wondering how I get that last time, and now I know how to. I'm actually kind of happy about that. That seemed pretty too easy though. That's, that was pretty much a Metroid style puzzle right there. It's like, hey, this wall's not what it seems to be. Maybe you should jump into it or something. Alright, I think we're coming up to the boss now. Oh, there we go. Block that. Like I said, in the sequel, Mila's going to get... So, uh, well, as we've already seen, Mila's got a massive overhaul since the last two years of where this game actually, uh, you know, takes place in, because it's like a two-year gap in terms of the story. And I like that, because it's like... She really needed the, uh, the overhaul. Especially since that, as we already know in the story, spoilers for you who haven't actually seen it and you're jumping into this episode for whatever, for whatever reason, is that um, Mila becomes, you know, she gets captured by Brevin and gets mutated and... Yeah, I would have, I would think that Mila not only feeling guilty for what she did before as well... Wow, that was all for a card. I can see why, I'm about to drown, I've got to get out quick. Move, Mila! I'm swimming as fast as I can and I'm about to drown. I think I'm fine though, yeah, I'm fine. Woohoo! But yeah, um, I, th I think she would feel guilty as well that she knows that she would have prepared herself just in case if Bremen decides to come back for whatever reason. And uh, obviously, we, we at, like I keep mentioning so far at the, term, at the time of this recording, we don't know if Bremen's going to appear in the sequel. How do I get that? I keep seeing these cards on en route and I'm like, how do I get this? Oh, here we go. It was that simple, was it? I guess I just ignored it when I was playing the first time. Give me that health that I don't need. Ah! God, I didn't expect that to make me launch all the way up. Oh boy. Thank you, shield, for blocking two hits instead of... Well, actually, no. That was supposed to destroy the shield. Why didn't it? Oh, okay, I got that at least. Because two hits and then the shield goes. I guess it resists that a bit more? Unless that's just contact damage. Oh boy. Oh, I'm going to get it anyway if I go up here. Okay, cool. So let's just do that then. There we go. Hit it when they put walls of water in the way. Boom. Nothing to dig up at the moment. I think we're coming to the boss now. I think I grabbed almost all the cards in this level. I think I only missed, like, what, two? There's about ten in each level. Right, so what I want to do is stay on this platform. This boss is super easy. Just chuck... As l well, oh, that's... Oh, yeah. You, you can either chuck blocks at him, or what you're intended to do is... Let bubble, let the bombs land on your head, and because Mila can grab bombs, 
Well, but because, you know, she has the animation of picking up blocks herself, she can use her psychic abilities to hold the bomb and explode it. There we go. So that's the right one. Chuck it at him. There we go. I do want to try to see if I can hit him with this. Ouch. No, it doesn't actually work. You have to hit him with the bombs. So this is a very situational boss. It's very simple. And you don't have... Not only that, but you don't have a lot of room to dodge either. So it's really simple. Just move left to right. Tap B in this case when you pick up a bomb. And there we go. That's the only easy and pathetic... Oh, really? Cheap? Easy boss that we're going to get with Mila. I know it took me a while, but I had to explain a lot of things. And there we have Treasure Hunter. I believe, if I am correct, that means I tried digging up a treasure for the first time. Which obviously I showed off in order to, you know, showcase her entire moveset and stuff. But as obviously I didn't kill the boss with an actual technique that I could use, like a block or a beam or a powerful beam from the shield or whatnot, uh, when I have a block in my hand and then try to turn it into a shield and shoot, I would probably get another achievement for that. But in this case, all I got was an achievement for digging. So that's not that big of an issue, but hey, it's still one to add to the list and it just means that I did show off everything that we could possibly do. And I did actually get something for it as well, which I didn't know existed at that point. But I didn't get all the cards because it didn't actually tell me that I got the achievement for the cards. So that is a thing as well. But with that, guys, now that we know how Mila controls, the next level is obviously going to be, you know, what Mila told us in the other two stories. And once, like I said as well, the stories are all parallel except for a small part of Mila's story where it kind of spews into a t different tangent of storyline, but then joins back up like it didn't really matter it's kind of weird but like i said it'll run parallel with lila and carol's story as one one uh, whole timeline up to a certain point so that means if we remember what mila said in the next episode what we're going to be doing is chasing them down through relic castle relic maze excuse me so because she mentioned that she was spooked by mayor's owl's people and well then met lila and carol with that see you guys next time for relic castle relic maze i keep saying relic castle relic maze see you guys then God.